Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys an all new list of top free Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8 through 8.1.2 untethered jailbreak. This is part one of a three part series. All right, and as I mentioned prior to the intro, this is part one of a three-part tweak series. So ensure that you watch this video on desktop because once the subsequent parts are released, there will be annotations on the screen to be taken to them. Also, you will need to be jailbroken if you have yet to jailbreak on iOS 8 through 8.1.2. Just be sure to click on my channel name down below to be taken to my channel for complete tutorials. And if you guys want the tweaks outlined in a list, then I will have a link down below in the more info to a post on best tech info that highlights every single tweak detailed. So up first, we have Kabalia. It's starting to become one of my favorites, and let me just launch up the settings app here. Once you have it installed, you will receive a new pane. You just have a few different options. You can enable it, and then you can set the switches, you can set the section label, and you can turn off the switch labels. And let me show you exactly what it does. So now when you enter multitasking view, instead of having recent contacts and favorite contacts along the top, you now have toggles. So I can toggle on or off Wi-Fi, airplane mode, do not disturb, Bluetooth, etc. You can set all of these up inside of the Kabalia settings pane. So here, as you can see for switches, you can move them around and even for some, you can kind of go into them and you can set a specific option. So like for rotation lock, if you go into it, you can set that you want it to support landscape lock. And let's go to another one here. So respring, you can set the tap and hold option to either respring, restart, power off, enter safe mode, etc. So this is really awesome. I absolutely love it. As you'll notice, I do have Wi-Fi toggled on right now when I enter multitasking and tap on it and then exit out. You'll notice that Wi-Fi is now turned off. Also, it's really great for certain applications that require you to actually drag up twice to enter control center and quickly showing you guys what I mean inside of Monument Valley here to actually bring up control center how you normally access toggles. It can be kind of hard because you have to do it twice and you have to get it just right. It's much much easier and much simpler to just enter into multitasking view and then toggle off whatever you wanted to. Now, next up, we have a tweak called camera modes. It's pretty great because it allows you to rearrange the default camera app. So inside of camera modes, I have it toggled off right now, but when I do toggle it on, you'll notice that the modes kind of change. For disabled modes, I have square because I don't really like square. I'm not too much of a fan of it. So inside of camera here, you'll notice that I do have square currently, but when I go to toggle, toggle it off. Let's go ahead and swipe out of camera there and let's toggle on the tweak and then bring square off, which it already is. And then let's also rearrange time lapse and slow mo. So I'm actually going to bring time lapse before slow mo. And now let's go ahead and open up the camera app again. And you'll notice that things have changed. I no longer have the square. It's no longer found anywhere on here. And I also have time lapse before slow mo. Now let's go ahead and do one more example really quick. I'm actually going to move video videos before photo now. So let's go ahead and open it up and it applies the changes on the fly. So as you can see here, I have video and photo reversed. And like I said, you don't have to actually respring. All you have to do is just close out of the camera app and then set the desired settings and you're good to go. Next up, we have notification killer. Let me go ahead and send myself a couple quick test notifications. All right, there we go. I have my notifications. So bringing down notification center, you'll see that I have them listed there. And it allows you to easily and conveniently close out of all open notifications, whether it's for multiple apps or a single app, in this case, just messages by tapping and holding on either today or notifications inside of notification center. So as you can see, when I tap and hold and let go, I get a new prompt that asks me if I'd like to clear all notifications. I'm just going to tap on cancel and we're going to open up settings so I can show you guys a few of the settings for notification killer. So you have the option to toggle it on, you can remove the icon badges, you can require confirmation and you can even whitelist apps so that they don't kill the notifications when you invoke notification killer. But let's go ahead and just toggle off require confirmation and I'm going to go ahead and activate it simply by tapping and holding on notifications there. So let's go ahead and do it really quick. You can 
kind of have to tap and hold for a second and once you let go as you can see it clears out of all notifications it's really great and there's actually another tweak that I've detailed previously that allows you to quickly clear out of single notifications I highly recommend that one in conjunction with notification killer I'll have an annotation on the screen now to be taken to that video outlining that tweak all right moving right along coming in as the fourth tweak we have repower you don't have really any settings for it aside from the option to toggle it on and to toggle it off so when you install repower it basically adds additional switches to the default power off or the slide to power off screen so let's go ahead and invoke it by tapping and holding on the power button here and as you can see inside of slide to power off I can now power off the iPhone 6 plus I can slide to reboot it or I can slide to respring reboot obviously will turn it off and then on and respring will just restart the springboard so let's go ahead and do that one because it will be relatively quick in comparison to the other options so it is respringing right now and it should be up shortly the next tweak is called circle icons and let's go ahead and get into it right now it's very simple and I'm just going to open up the settings app really quick all right, so now that we're inside of the settings app, as you can see, the icons for the various setting panes are now circular. It's a really nice change and I definitely prefer it. And inside of the circle icons pane, all you have the option to do is just set either default or the circular icon shape. And then you can also remove all icons if you want, and then you can respring it to apply the changes. But that's it, it's very simplistic and it's a really nice change, especially if you go inside of the settings app a lot. All right, and that wraps up this list guys again just five of the top free Cydia tweaks currently available for and compatible with the untethered iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak all right and be notified when I release part two and part three in this series just be sure to click on that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video if you have yet to and like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and until next time this is ICU signing out <laughs>